What up, gang? It's your boy Zot back with another banger. Hey, it's been a minute. I know. I'll admit. Been some things going on, but it's been a minute. I missed you guys. I really did, man. I missed you guys, man. You know, we got college. We got work. We got Team Zaza. We back on our classes in Discord. We got life, right? But no matter, I missed you guys, man. So today... We had to come back with a banger. Listen, we talk about all the time blue eyes and brown eyes. But you ever wonder what causes someone to have brown eyes versus blue eyes? We understand alleles already, right? We understand the basics of alleles. But today, we're going to understand allelic frequency or the frequency of those alleles versus the frequency of your phenotypes and the frequency of your genotypes. We're going to go over the basics and the differences so you guys can get a good foundation in alleles and preparing for selection. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Get it. Like, comment, share, subscribe, you heard me? Yeah, you know it. Turn up the leaf blower and the long Discord. All right, so what are alleles? What are alleles? Alleles are different versions of the same gene. Different versions of the same gene, right? So eye color. Eye color can be blue. Eye color can be hazel. Eye color can be brown. But it's just a different version for the same gene. Since humans have two sets of chromosomes, we get two copies of each gene. One allele from mom and one allele from dad. Now allele frequency refers to how common a particular allele shows up within a population. Super important. So if there are 10 individuals, they collectively have 20 alleles within the population. Two per each person. All right, so we know phenotype is basically any observable traits that have been a result of your genotype affected by the environment. Now, phenotype frequency, not to be confused with allelic frequency or allele frequency, phenotype frequency is just that simple. How many times a particular phenotype shows up in the population? And when it comes to phenotype frequency, continuing on with our eye color example, phenotype frequency would be how many times blue eyes shows up compared to how many times brown eyes show up. And we know genotype to be an organism's complete genetic makeup or the alleles that it carries for particular genes at a specific location or loci. Now genotype frequency refers to how many times possible allele combinations show up in the population. We always familiarize ourselves with genotype with those letters, right? The, the capital letter and the lowercase letter. The capital letter representing dominant and the lowercase letter representing recessive. In the case of a genotype, if we continue with eye color again, right? Let's say brown eye color could be represented by big B, big B. In that case, it would be a homozygous dominant eye color. Or... It could be represented by a little b, little b. In that case, it would be a homozygous recessive eye color for blue. Or your genotype could be big b, little b, which is heterozygous for both. Allele frequency, genotype frequency, and phenotype frequency are all interconnected because they all describe different aspects of how traits are distributed in a population. Allele frequency measures how common a specific allele is within a population. It shows the genetic diversity at a particular gene. Genotype frequency refers to the distribution of different combinations of alleles like big B, little b, big B, big B, or little b, little b. Genotype frequency refers to the distribution of different combinations of alleles. Since genotypes are made up of alleles, Allele frequency directly affects genotype frequency. And when it comes to phenotype frequency, 
It's the expression of observable traits like eye color in a population, which is also determined by genotypes. Because certain genotypes lead to specific phenotypes, changes in genotype frequency affect the phenotype frequency. It just depends on dominant or recessive alleles. In this image, it gives us a beautiful example of maybe a nine plant population. Think about it, nine plants, nine plant population, kind of works out, right? Uh, in this case, we see purple being a dominant color, um, homozygous dominant uh, would be capital W, capital W, heterozygous for purple and white would be big W, little w, and then recessive homozygous, which is the white color in this case, would be little w, little w. So you can take those same concepts, build upon it square, and really practice in real life in your garden. So we had some crazy events, man. I lost all of my pages, all my Instagram, my Facebook, my personal, my old accounts, everything. They literally, I got them all suspended at once. I don't know how, I don't know what I did. Don't blame me, man. I try to do my best to stay within community guidelines no matter where I'm at. But if you want to follow the new page, it is the only Zaza Genetics. The only Zaza Genetics is the new page, all one word. I may get my original pages back, may, maybe not, I don't know. Um, either way, I appreciate you guys. Make sure you visit acinfinity.com. Use code Team Zaza at checkout. And if you are ready to move forward with selection, Team Zaza is lit. The classes have begun in Discord once again. So join us for Discord. I got some new exciting information. We are now up and up the education level. We got Team Zaza Discord and Team Zaza YouTube. And in the near future, you guys will be having some educational battles, man, and getting some hands-on, eyes-on experience together while making it all good, fun competition, man. I got some giveaways coming up. We got to build this new page up, so what other better way to do it than to give some away, right? Uh, other than that, man, I missed you guys. I love you guys. Please comment, like, and subscribe, man. Let me know uh, what you plan on seeing for the next video. And um, until we meet again, gang, love you guys. I'm out. Keep up.